and welcome back to Biolog. Hope you're having a great day and a great week. Now, as you can see from the title, I did get all eight A stars in my IGCSEs. Uh, I've been planning this video for quite some time, so I actually thought that this video might give you some good tips uh, and might tell you about some of my regrets that I had when I did my IGCSE exams. So I thought it might be useful for you guys to know some of the tips that help me jump from an A to an A star or from let's say a B to an A. So I hope you guys find these tips helpful and let's begin. Now before we even get into the studying part, hear me out, yeah? So I know that studying and exams can be an extremely stressful time mainly because everyone's gonna ask you, oh how much preparation have you done? Oh uh, what do you think you're gonna get on this paper? But as far as it seems like you know it's impossible to control, you guys need to make sure that you're not stressed on the day before the exam. I can say this from experience, stress definitely will reduce your chances of giving your best potential on the day of the exam. Stress will increase your anxiety and will you know kind of also affect your sleep. So from experience I can tell you that stress will make sure that you don't get sleep properly on that day before. And so the chances of you getting a really really high score will be reduced because your sleep will have a detrimental effect on your grades, on your performance on that day. And so I do think that it's important for you guys to relax and cut off at least 30 minutes or one hour before the time you go to sleep so that you make sure that you're cut off from any devices, any blue light and you make sure that your mind as such is relaxed. You're not looking at any textbook, you're not trying to cram and mug up any information uh, You know that will kind of possibly help you in the exam because trust me, Mugging up information in the last 30 minutes, uh, you know, either it's prior to sleep or on the day itself, is not going to help you much on the exam itself. So, make sure that you prioritize your sleep on the day before the exam so that, you know, you don't lose focus when you're writing your answers and you make sure that you're giving it your best effort. Alright, so when it comes to the exams, I cannot stress how important it is for you guys to start early. Everyone will tell you to do past papers, like to take up 5 years of past papers, 10 years of past papers. But what I think is really important for subjects that have a lot of content you need to know and memorize and understand, like biology, chemistry, etc. You need to know the concepts first. So before you pick up any past paper questions, make sure that you know your concepts really, really well. And to do that, you can follow this 3-step process that I have put up for you guys. Alright, the first step is to... Learn your textbook well. Now, in order to do so, I recommend you guys to teach. I know it's very, very boring to keep going through your textbook like again and again and again. But hear me out. I really do think you need to go through your textbook first. Because if you don't know the concept, how are you going to answer the question in the exam? How are you going to answer the question in the past paper that you're going to do, right? So, make sure that you are able to understand the textbook first. And in order to do so, you need to apply certain uh, techniques, I would say. The best one I would recommend is to teach. Now, it could be teaching your friends, it could be either teaching your uh, you know, parents, it could also be teaching your stuffed animals, but I do recommend teaching as such because it's a really great way of active recall. You're able to get stuff into your brain uh, because you're saying it out loud. I always make sure that if, even if I don't have someone to teach, I teach my stuffed animals. Uh, so I do think I have a good experience when it comes to this kind of revision technique and method. So if you guys do want me to talk more about that, let me know in the comments section below. Now, Second thing, immediately start doing past papers. Now, I would recommend you guys to actually do 7 years of past papers because I feel like it's in between the range that everyone tells you. Either there'll be people who do like, you know, 5 years of past papers or 10 years of past papers. Even though those two are really, really a lot of questions to be, uh, you know, doing, I feel like it's necessary because, uh, you know, you don't know what kind of questions will come and you need to be able to uh, get used to the trend of questions that could possibly come. So I do recommend you guys to do at least 7 years of past papers uh, because again it's not too far fetched like 10, it's not too little like 2 or 3. Now you need to make sure that when you're doing past papers you're not only going through the mark scheme, you're not only like you know putting the mark scheme and the question parallel and you're writing it down. 
that will not help you and this is another big regret that I have from my exams. Make sure that you do not uh, copy it directly. What I will suggest is do the question first fully. Finish off one paper completely and then uh, parallelly check with the mark scheme and then make sure you again tick and uh, you know put the wrong ones. So always make sure you know which ones are wrong and mark it so that you can come back to it and you can revise it again and make sure that you don't make the same mistake in your actual exam. The next tip would be to keep all your past papers, notes, everything compiled into one system so that at least when you're going through your past papers you don't have to search for it you know in different different places. Now an app that I do use for this is called Documents which you can find free on the App Store. You can organize your notes for each subject in uh, the form of folders so in this case everything is in one place. Secondly for past papers I would also recommend you guys to download each and every past paper separately but make sure you compile the year accordingly. So what I want you to do is let's say take the past papers, all the past papers for 2016 biology paper 6. Compile them into one single document and for this you can use apps like uh, Cam Scanner, which are PDF scanners. Make sure you compile them into one single document so that in this way when you're looking for a question, when you have a doubt, you know that everything is in that one particular document and it also kind of motivates you to finish the document because each question is after the other so you have that hustle, okay, I need to finish this paper by let's say this amount of time or I need to do these many questions by this amount of time. It really just makes you feel like, okay, I need to get this done. That's it for today's video guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, do make sure to like, share and subscribe to Biolog for more such interesting videos and stay tuned for my biggest collaboration yet which is going to be for my 50th video anniversary on Biolog and this is going to be a collaboration with IGCSE world toppers and near perfect scorers so make sure you stay tuned for that video and keep updated by keeping on post notifications. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.